Yo, what's up guys? You're back with Technic and today we'll be doing an Antutu benchmark run between the Xiaomi Mi 10 Pro, Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra and the iPhone 11 Pro Max. The Mi 10 Pro comes paired with 8 gigs of RAM, the version that I have anyway, and a Snapdragon 865 processing chip which is run on 7 nanometer plus technology and is an octa-core. We have a 90 hertz refresh rate panel on the Xiaomi and we're going to be using Game Turbo in order to open up Antutu benchmark version 8.2.7. Samsung also comes paired with a Snapdragon 865 processing chip and 12 gigs of RAM. We have 120 hertz refresh rate panel over here though it is limited to full hd plus that's the native of the xiaomi anyway so we're going to leave it at that we're also going to be enabling high performance mode over here and the version that i have is 12 gigs of ram we're going to focus on performance in the game booster settings menu and we're also going to be running into two through its game launcher last but not least we have the iphone 11 pro max with the smallest amount of ram 4 gigs of ram but it has a hexacore a13 bionic chipset also run on 7 nanometer plus technology guys this is technic and without further ado let's go Okay, here are the hardware configurations for all devices. Hit pause over here if you want to see it in more detail. At the start of the test, we're going to be checking out the battery percentages as well as the degrees. As you can take a look at the bottom over there, we have the coolest one being the Samsung and the hottest one being the iPhone. And then when it comes to CPU degrees in Celsius, we have the hottest one being the Xiaomi and the coolest one being the Samsung. We do not know what the iPhone is because there is no app for it that I know of. If you know of one, please let me know in the comment section down below. At the bottom, we do have the 100% what speed we're currently running the clip at. So, so far we're doing 100% real time. What you're seeing is what I saw when I ran the test. Uh, so this is a full real time. There's nothing sped up here at all though. I will speed up the clip a little bit later so that I don't keep you guys here all day since an Antutu benchmark run usually takes around eight minutes to complete. So at the start of the test, you can see how smooth the Xiaomi and the Samsung are. You can see that the iPhone 11 Pro Max is still doing a great job, though not quite as smooth as the Xiaomi and Samsung, though it is actually going a little bit quicker than the other two devices. Now we're going to move on to 2400% speed and back to 100% real time for the second part of Antutu, checking out the scenic area over here with this little boot. Once again, very smooth on the two devices on the left, but slightly quicker on the Xiaomi, uh, on the iPhone, sorry. 100% real time again for the Terracotta Soldiers. This is probably my favorite part of the test, the most graphic demanding part of the test as well. Remember, we're running Adreno 650 chips GPU wise on the Xiaomi and the Samsung. I do have the career version of the Samsung, so I, I do indeed have a Snapdragon 865 processing chip inside of it and not the Exynos 990 as seen in other global variants. So the US, China, and Korea seem to be getting the Snapdragon variants of the Samsung. Once again, things are very smooth on the two devices on the left-hand side, and the Xiaomi is pretty much almost caught up with the iPhone in terms of speed of the test. The Samsung is lagging behind quite a bit over here. That notch on the iPhone, I must say, is just ridiculously ugly. But we're focusing on performance here, not aesthetics. And if it were an aesthetics party, I would say that the Xiaomi is the hottest looking device from the back. The Samsung, arguably, from the front with those really tiny bezels. We're gonna be moving on to the refresh rate. Obviously, we have 60 hertz refresh rate panel on the iPhone over here. It is a lot quicker, so I just slowed things down over there so you guys could see it in real time. The Xiaomi and the Samsung 90 hertz and 120 hertz respectively. Though we do have a touch response rate on the Samsung of 240 hertz, touch response rate on the Xiaomi of 180 hertz and on the iPhone of 120 hertz. So touch response rates definitely faster on the Samsung as well as the panel refresh rate too. Though the Samsung is lagging behind in the test, it still did a smooth and great job. At the end, battery percentage wise, we went down the most on the iPhone, minus five percent over there. And the hottest device was the Xiaomi, which added on 7.7 .7 degrees Celsius and was hottest overall at the end of the test. iPhone actually lost degrees there, but you can't really take that app as accurate as you would like. I don't know any other app to use. CPU degrees Celsius at the end. We don't know the one for the iPhone and the Xiaomi definitely got a lot hotter than the Samsung over there. First place, Xiaomi with 598,000 points. Second place, the iPhone with 535. And in third place, the Samsung with 495. Really disappointed with the Samsung here since the OnePlus 7T with a predecessor Snapdragon Qualcomm chip came over 500,000 points 501,000 if I'm not mistaken with an 855 plus chip so the Samsung with an 865 chip actually did worse than that the Samsung pretty much got worse across the board though it got the second best in memory and the iPhone got the second best in everything but the worst memory the Samsung was 17.3 percent worse than the performance of the Mi 10 Pro and the iPhone was 10.9 percent worse than that of the Mi 10 Pro guys I hope that you enjoyed this video as much as I did making it and until next time this is Technic